Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power. You saw the thumbnail, man. I'm getting right into it. Happy days are here again. Da, da. Guys, this is some of the best news, and I want to share it with you. You're the first ones to hear it. Actually, my wife and daughter. But anyway, I ran this morning for the first time in years. About six years. I haven't run a thing. No pain, nothing. Two miles. Now here's the deal. Now for the longest time, guys, I was a freaky runner. Marathons, ultra, 10K, 70 to 100 mile weeks as an amateur. I mean, I just loved it. I loved it. And guys, I did this for about 43 years, 45 years. Anyway, at about 45 years, Mark, things started hurting a little bit. Yeah, if you can imagine all that pounding. I had never been under the knife, and I've never been under the knife, okay? And the joints, knees and ankles specifically, really starting. You know, st when you are doing that kind of mileage, let me do this. Uh, that I was doing. Stiffness and soreness, that, that's part of life. It's not a big deal. Stiffness, stiffness and soreness, you just work out. You stretch, you go easy the first couple miles before you know it. It's just part of, you know, getting out of a chair. Ooh, ooh, I did 15 today. You go out of the chair, you stretch a little bit, you're good to go. But it started, that stiffness and soreness that is just so prevalent, that's just part of your everyday being for a distance runner like that. All of a sudden, it started, started to, it's, it was painful. It started to hurt. And these glorious weekend long runs that I used to just look forward to, 15, 18 miles, just go on these beautiful, cool autumn days up here in uh, New England. Ah, I loved it. All of a sudden, I, I grew to loathe those. Oh, geez, do I have to go 12 today? And, you know, I, I play mind games. Well, you know, I, I should probably get back because I, I got to get to the grocery store, you know, cut it short at eight. I mean, it, it, it well, running became a pain, <laughs> literally and figuratively, okay? So I discovered kettlebell, and that helped a little bit. I cut back on the running a little bit, and I was in kettlebell, uh, and even though in some ways the kettlebell helped with the strength and the flexibility and all this sort of stuff, I wasn't really cutting back on the running that much. So I was almost exercising more with the kettlebell. Okay? So, anyway, it just started to get worse and worse. I got the bike. And again, I'm running. I get riding the bike. I'm doing kettlebell. I know four hours, of, you know, just a whole lot and the joints just started getting worse and worse finally I got to the point where I stopped running altogether I replaced it with the bike I replaced it with kettlebell and it was all right it was all right you know if, if that's all I could do the rest of my life fine all right um but I missed the running now the summer, not so bad. Summer, fall, and spring, not so bad because I could ride the bike. In the winter, oh my God, I hated it. You know, you, you don't get, around here, you know, you can't ride the bike. So I just missed it so badly in the winter. Kettlebell is great, but guys, I, I want to be out, fresh air, all that sort of sunshine, vitamin D, the whole nine yards. So anyway, at the beginning of July, um, and ever since I stopped running, geez, my legs felt pretty good. All the stiffness and soreness was gone. Not completely gone, but gone. Until about the beginning of July, my ankle just swelled up and hurt so badly I could barely walk. So I go to the mirror in this room, they do a whole bunch of set tests, and... 
I said, while you're at it, why, why don't you do the knee while you're at it? He comes back, he says, look, sir, no structural damage whatsoever. None. Everything's fine. There's just some inflammation in there. It's from overuse. Unless you can pinpoint one specific thing where all of a sudden, you know, you twist your ankle or you wrench your knee or something, ah, that's it. He says 99.9% .9 of the time, it's overuse, and that's all we see. Okay. Overuse. So he described, prescribed some painkillers, which I didn't take. I just soaked a little bit, and sure enough, it started coming around, coming around. But all of a sudden, I had him back in my mind. It's overuse, you moron. So, again, summertime, I'm riding a bike, doing the kettlebell, getting really lean, okay? And I woke up this morning, very early, did my meditation, and God, the infinite intelligence, the universe, energy, whatever it was, just saying, dude, go out and run. It was 3 o'clock in the morning, pitch dark, go out and run. And I have this loop that I go by that um, around the school that's nearby, the elementary school, that's all lit. It's all lit up. And that was my usual way to run during the, uh, my days, uh, where I did it during the night, during the morning, before the sun came up. So, you know, it's all lit with street lights and everything. So I put on my sneakers. I took some sneakers out of mothballs, some old ultras. Are they there? <laughs> Hideous looking things. And sure enough, I went for a run. Real slow. I mean, a notch above walking. But geez, I got a couple mailboxes down. No pain. I got about a quarter mile down the street. I feel fine. I kept going. I did my old, route, my old route, two miles, some hills. It felt glorious to be out there. Now, the cool thing is my wind felt fine. My wind felt absolutely fine with the kettlebell and the um, bike. There was no cardiovascular problem at all. I wasn't even breathing hard. Now, I was not running that fast, I told you. Um, towards the end, I started getting a little jelly leg, you know, so, because I hadn't used those muscles in so long, and I walked home. So it was about two and a half miles with the, with the walk. Guys, knock on wood. Unless things really get a little crazy tonight and tomorrow, or I can't walk down the stairs tomorrow morning. I think I might be able to do this to a limit. Now, I have no desire to put in those miles again. None. The kettlebell and bike told me, showed me, I can get in superb shape and not have to put in those miles. So I'm talking a couple miles, maybe two, three times a week, tops. Um, plenty of rest in between. Kettlebell for sure, to work the muscles and, and the core and everything to support the whole thing. I can drop even more weight. The less weight you have, the less pounding the joints are gonna take. Guys, I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this. <laughs> it's so cool. At my age, to be able to run it just a little bit, man. As I said, I've, I've come to the conclusion I can get in superb shape, never running again, but i just dying to run. When, especially in, in the, the fall and the winter, I look outside and somebody's all bundled up in the running by, ah, oh, I, I just... My, my, I yearn for that. So anyway, so cool, so cool, and I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm gonna flush the inflammation right out, man. I'm not gonna mess around with that at all. I'm gonna dig in super, super, even when I'm out of town, I'm gonna dig in as best as I can to keep the fruit, uh, the inflammation out of the diet. This is worth it for me. This is my new project. It's like I've been reborn. Anyway, eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.